Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more of the multi-consumer products playthrough of Solaris using the Megacorp DLC. I am starting to get a little bit concerned that we will have a war with our main rival as soon as this war wraps up, or, or soon after. So my main priority is to get ready for any possible conflict that may come. But before we get started, let's really quickly look at the planets in question, what's going on there. I feel like my economy, although we recovered it, is not necessarily sustainable because I am using edicts to keep it afloat. And I really do not have that much influence, so it's going to be tough to continue to do that. So here we have a lot of jobs, so I'm not really worried about it too much. As far as upgradability, we have this to upgrade, which I may end up doing, but I will probably prioritize buildings that are on my smaller planets. Obviously, these civilian industries are not a huge priority right now. So we'll see where we go from there. 41, 43. So we are close to getting another building on this planet. So I'll keep an eye out on that. Depending on how things are going on this planet, we could always send population points to other our other two systems. Because at this point, we're not going to build any more buildings. We're pretty much maxed out here. So we'll see. In any case, let's go ahead and continue here. I also have some ideas of some... Ship upgrades I may want to do. Oh, what happened here? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually bad. So this is the ally of our our main rival, and our potential ally has just done a agreement with them. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. So I really hope these guys don't end up being enemies of ours. I was hoping that the Imperium of Ver, Ver would be able to get them into our, our a federation here, but they are still hung up on one thing in particular, at least if I ask them. I don't know if this also applies to my ally, but the big thing is war philosophy uh, allows war of aggression. Well, obviously, we want to allow wars of aggression. Well, these guys really don't like that. And as a result, it's minus 50. They would actually accept if this was not there. So it's a real roadblock uh, for us, unfortunately. Oh well, we're just going to have to live with it, I guess. And maybe not have these guys as the ally we'd hoped for. I think we're going to get the Mandate of Lokim. I kind of hope that the alliance that we had here was going to be a little stronger than it is right now, though. Oh well, uh, let's go ahead and have these two merge up here. So the anchor is at 6.3 with that additional ship, and we're continuing. As a matter of fact, yeah, you just got built. I'm, I'm hoping that we can continue to grow that. At this point, how many of those cruises do we have? Just one here, and then there's another one on its way. I'll probably build two more of those. Then I'll try and expand out the rest of the fleet with some smaller ships so we're not so cruiser heavy. So at this point we have 14 size 2 ships and 14 size 1 ships. Okay. Well, again, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to build that out. I, I might go with some missile boat corvettes because we could pump those out. Right now, missiles are our greatest technology. So that's an idea. As far as technology goes, we are hoping to get the uh, better hyperlane speed out of this. And then... Research from, uh, resources from jobs. This will help our economy, so I am looking forward to that one. Uh, and the cruiser hull points would just help our cruisers in general. Has been surveyed. Which we definitely are going more cruiser heavy. And that actually may emphasize me to continue on that. Now we do have, uh, I think, a similar upgrade on our destroyers, if I remember correctly. Go ahead and just survey this system, and then we'll go up that way. But yeah, having these guys be against me would be a real problem, in my opinion. Because they're, they're fairly sizable.
Uh, speaking of people, uh, how has these guys... They, all right, they're keeping up with me, so that's good. We have a, an ally that is on par with me, and then these guys are probably going to join our Federation, and they're also on par with me, so... That's good. The, the big problem is my subsidiary is very weak. Uh, it only has a single fleet that's 3,000 fleet strength, which is... It's not... It's not very good. Upscaling complete. Okay, and that was over on Regulus Prime. We finished off the planetary capital, which is very good. So, as far as planets go, I think development of Hiklamir is probably our next priority, and I'm probably going to go with the energy grid upgrade. Uh, we do not have enough strategic resources to do so. No, not the strategic. We don't have enough minerals. Uh, yeah, we can still afford that, so I'd probably do that next. I'm not sure if we're going to want to expand. Again, influence is a real problem for me right now. We need influence for a lot of things, and to expand, I need influence. So we could expand to this little pocket here. Survey completed. Well, that was quick. Oh, I'm all right. Decent resources there, but it just, uh... Okay. Let's finish off the last couple of systems, and then that's pretty much all the surveying I think we can really do. What level are you? You're level 5, so this is almost kind of a waste of time. I was hoping we'd get more anomalies, so we could maybe get some cool things out of that, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Now, we could get into this system if we use that one technology that I passed by. It was a rare tech, so it's not likely going to show up again. In theory, I could come down here and survey all this stuff. If these guys ever be en are enemies of me, though, that would lock me out of this area. Okay, just checking some things. All right. We might as well speed up because there's not a whole lot going on at the moment. Really just waiting for resources. I could buy those resources, but I'd rather wait and let, just let the resources calm down on their own. But after I'm done with... Research actualized. There we go. So that's the cruiser hall points. What are we going to want here? So, Robot Assault ar Army and Droid Workers. Droid Workers actually could really help me, because considering how much robot population we have. Engineering Research, okay, that's great. Upgraded Flat Cannons could be good. We, we went a different route. Upgraded Armor, also pretty good. And it's also the cheapest thing here. Unless, of course, we want to just get Afterburners to get it out of the way. I don't really want this tech, but... I think we go with the upgraded armor, because that's something that's going to directly help me right now, although this is really helpful too. And it would continue down the robotic path, which may be beneficial. So, really it's between plus the armor and the uh, army here. Droid workers really just opens up the robots to be able to work more jobs, which gives me a little bit more fluidity as far as filling out jobs. But at the moment, it's really the worker jobs that are the things that we don't have filled out. And all the droid thing does is open up more worker jobs. It doesn't allow them to do specialist jobs or ruler jobs. So you still are in that strata of uh, worker. It just opens up what worker jobs they can work. Because at the moment, I think really all they can do is like stuff like farming and uh, mining. Well, that's a thought. I think we go with the uh, the armor here. It's going to help us now, and uh, if we're preparing for war, that is. Okay, we almost have the... The one tech that I'm really waiting for. And that is actually going to force me... Let's go ahead and merge up here again. To upgrade my fleets. So, I'm not going to be producing ships for a while, I don't think, because that is so important to get that uh, faster hyperlane speed. Because speed, in my opinion, in a lot of these games, is very crucial to being able to fight on such a large scale at, that we're at at this stage of the game. Uh, the empire here of our rival is fairly large. If I were to attack them, I'd probably attack them from this lower portion because that leads into the heart of their empire faster. There's not a whole lot up in this upper section, and it's kind of a winding path to get there, whereas here, 
uh, I come in here and then I can go just straight into the heart and we're going to get into that capital eventually. So I think that would be the route I would take would be come from the from the bottom more or less. So with that in mind, speed is going to be important. Research actualized. Okay, there it is. Well, let's see what our other research is going to be. So, we get more choices for the computers. Finally, an upgrade to our lasers. Been waiting for this for a long time. And notice how cheap it is. Probably we'll pick that up. We get better power generation out of this. This, I don't think, is as high of a priority for me right now. Or physics research. I think the UV laser is, without a doubt, is the direction we're going to go in. I think our our main pinnacle is going to be missile weapons, laser weapons, and the uh, I forget what they're they're called, flak cannons or or something, whatever the point defense weapon that we're currently using is. That's going to be our 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 more or less our stool, our three legged stool. So uh, that's what we're going to go with. And how quickly is that going to be done? Because it may actually be very fast. Yeah, because we have uh, research agreements that are going to just pump that up real fast. So, uh, looking at 13 months. All right, well, in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the ship designer. Because 13 months is still a ways away. So, everyone needs to upgrade. I don't think there's any other upgrades. So, what is this thing? Uh, barrier point defense. So, that's the other tech that we're going to do. Probably get rid of the energy siphon once we get the extra level of laser. I'd have to evaluate it to see if this is still viable. I think we're starting to get to that point. Eh, it still does pretty good damage output. Oh, well, anyway, let's just go ahead and go through. Save the Corvette. Save the Destroyer. Save the Cruiser. Save the other Cruiser. Uh, defense platform that doesn't have, you know, can't use jumping, so yeah, that doesn't really matter. Okay. We may end up throwing away the uh, plasma thrower. Because I'm going to suspect that the whatever we get with that upgrade laser is going to be better than the plasma thrower. It's a little bit different attributes, for sure, so it's hard to say, but yeah, I think that's the route we're going to go. All right. And we also could go with a different defense platform loadouts as well, but for now, I'm just going to stick with what we've got because I only have a couple out there on the table at the moment. I've got higher priorities. As much as I'd like to have more defense platforms, just many other things are of concern. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and continue here. I'm going to assume to upgrade our fleet is going to be extremely expensive. Yeah, 1,200 plus. So until we get that with those resources, uh, I'm going to have to sit on it. Okay, that actually is good from a standpoint of the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing, because these guys kind of don't like me, but we may be able to push them into liking me. I, I think they still probably don't like me, but we're not rivaled to these guys, but we're rivaled to the allies of these guys, so it may spread. Although, saying that, I think these guys are already in a war. Uh, they're in the war with this, if I remember correctly. Let's uh, double-check that. Yeah, they're one of the members that is actively in this war, so... And the war is still going badly for the defenders, so... We'll see what the settlement is out of that one. Oh, okay, so we're not going to be going in here unless we want to kill some space amoebas. That's fine. We'll just go a different way. All right. Minerals are still kind of ticking up slowly here, so I'm not able to really upgrade things. Again, I can buy stuff. We are doing pretty well there, so let's go into the market. Minerals haven't really dropped in price, but I'll go ahead and buy a thousand because they're fairly cheap and might as well buy them in bulk. And that will allow us to have a little bit more free reign of what we want to do here. Go ahead and upgrade this. So uh, this is going to give us more energy, more or less. 
a little bit of upkeep to, to do that, but it's strategic resources, so I, I'm fine with that. Uh, again, I have other upgrades I can do, but I'm not sure how much of a priority I want to make on that. What we could do is we could get into more mining or farming, uh, because food is starting to run short. Oh, there's the piece, I think. Okay, so the attacker have gotten something. They've got... I'm trying to find the particulars. Definitely their, their, their borders have changed. Uh, so they get a planet and a system. The systems are here, here, and where's the other place? The other place is... This one. Okay. So these guys here got cut in half by this. They got this, this, and this taken from them. The defenders did get stuff, though. Uh, they also got a planet out of this, uh, which is... I'm going to guess in this system. I'd have to zoom in to see, but we'll just assume that's what happened. So the defenders got two systems. Uh, I'm not sure who they got them from. Oh, okay, so the... The Vagaras got systems, and they got them from where? All right, so it's Bayou. Ah, okay, so they, that's so weird. So the uh, attackers, they gained three systems from Vagaras here, 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 and the defenders gained here and here. It did indeed cut the uh, Vagaras in half. Uh, I don't think they're going to survive much longer. Uh, the... Dwarf Assistant State really didn't do a very good job of defending them at all, and uh, I have a feeling that the Alamid Star Empire, they've already attacked these guys uh, twice now. Uh, they didn't attack Vagar Ross this second time, they attacked the Dwarf Assistant State, but they, they mostly took from these guys. So, interesting. But this is going to be that point where we're going to have to start moving around here. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to talk to the Mandate of Loken and see if they'll get to our Federation, and if not, why not? Still, war philosophy is the reason why they won't do it. I'm going to have to look at that. I, I don't know if I really want to do anything with that, but maybe we could make some concessions to get them in and then change our policy later. So let's go to policies, war philosophy. Uh, I'm going to assume... It's only allowed during defensive wars or against... The problem is, if I make this choice and I'm not right, uh, it could be a while before we're able to uh, do anything. So, But yeah, we're probably going to have to change from Unrestricted War to one of these other ones. I'm going to have to look at the contact information here. The main one we're worried about is actually these guys, because they're just about ready to say yes. It's a minus 40, but the, the minus 50 comes from that. So it says allows wars of aggression. So if we look at the policy. Policy. No, no, I want policies. There we go. Uh, so war uh, and those. Okay, no restrictions on the claiming systems. We must further our interest in even uh, when they run contrary to the interest of others. Claiming other systems is only allowed during defensive wars or against... Uh, so these guys here, I think, are Gestalt Consciousness, so we could do against them. Unlocks the ideology, uh, casts his belly on all empires with differing ethics. So this may count, uh, because in theory it's not a war of aggression. They're, they're defensive claims. Uh, but the other thing is, violence is a last resort to ensure the integrity of our nation. Claiming uh, of systems is only allowed during defensive wars. This is probably the safest choice. But what I'm thinking is, we've got a 10-year, I think, span before we can change our policy again. I'm probably not going to attack these guys anyway for that span of time, because I don't think I would win if I did that, especially as it would draw their alliance. But if I can get the these guys in our alliance, I think it would be worth it. And then we could always switch back to Unrestricted Wars later. 
At least that's my thought process. Well, that's an, that's an avenue we'll, we'll check here uh, in the next video, because we are getting to that point where we're going to wrap things up. Normally, I would have taken a look at the war at the end of a video, but finally, it's ended, so I don't actually have a war to look at. Uh, but in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.